many of the scholars, the critics for years said, there was no such thing as a kingdom of Ebla because there was no room in the chronology that they had developed throughout all of history until the two Italian archaeologists discovered literally the kingdom of Ebla. And they found many interesting relics in that discovery. For example, they found a portrait of Ebla's king, a small statue. Now you have to understand, for years they said, Ebla never existed. Now they have a small statue of the king. And then they found a stone wig from an Ebla palace statue. They found a stone lid of an Egyptian jar at Ebla and so many other relics. But the most important thing they found were items in writing, tablets, stone and all, in writing. Now, the first king of the Syrian king list that they found there in Ebla was called Tudia. Now, he was thought to be legendary. There was no such king as that, the scholars said. At, that is all just legend, it is not historic. But in the discovery of Ebla, they found a contract that had been signed, a peace treaty with Ebla by King Tudia. And all of a sudden the, uh, the scholars had to say, wait a minute, he must have been a real person. We were wrong. And then there were many Hebrew words that were once thought to be very late, not when the Bible placed them, but years later, such as Nasi, the name for chief, and the word Ketem for gold, they now found are attested in Ebla a thousand years before Moses. Then they discovered these names in Ebla, Abraham, Esau, Saul, Eber, Israel, and the mention of the city of Jerusalem. This is what surprised me. The mention of the city of Jerusalem on tablets in Ebla predate by 1,000 years of any time in history that the name Jerusalem was ever used. David Noel Friedman said, Behind the tradition in the Bible, there is now established fact. How does this relate to the criticism? There are two or three major criticisms that scholars have made about the Bible over the years that Ebla has disarmed every one of them. In the next three segments, I want to highlight these three criticisms that Ebla answered. You will be amazed how accurate the Bible is. <laughs>